Hi and welcome to my playhouse, the channel where we play with high-end enterprise server stuff. And today I have something awesome to show you. And this is this is a weird project that I just found out. It was it has been used for something else and I just stumbled upon it and it doesn't seem like that anyone has been using this for servers or computers yet and it has to do with the cooling of the CPU here I have a CPU it's just a regular PC CPU and the normal thing is you take some cooling compounds and uh, well you might have seen my videos the latest days I've been I've been playing a lot with overclocking CPUs and actually also overclocking Xeon CPUs and the normal thing is that you put on a cooling compound like this. This is some cheap stuff that I bought, two and a half bucks or something for this cooling compound. And this, um, there's some kind of metal dust in here and it's really good for letting the heat from the CPU go the way up into the heat sink. The CPU gets hot, the compound gets hot and the heat sink gets hot. But um, wouldn't it be cool if the compound in the middle of this would actually push the heat up to the heat sink. Well, there is actually a thing that can do exactly that. And now you're gonna get the surprise. Haha! <laughs> potatoes! You didn't know that, and I didn't know that either. But they have a lot of potato starch in them. The stuff that you make a lot of good stuff out of, including chips, and we're gonna go back to that. But what this really does is it keeps the potato cold. You know, this lays in the ground for quite an amount. Actually, the potato is made the year before and it grows the next year. And to preserve it, it needs to make sure that it, it won't rot. And to do that, it uses the starch to maintain a good temperature. I've read up on this, I didn't know shit about it, but apparently the, the outside is protected by the peel, the, the top layer if the potato for some reason should start rotting from inside rot needs heat so the starch inside the potato will very quickly get rid of that heat and get it out of there so the rot will stop so and apparently it's very very good at that the potato will keep cool in the ground for a long time and also in other environments actually as I'm holding it here it's dissipating some heat as as it is how do you use potatoes to cool your CPUs? Uh, I wouldn't recommend going um, putting in potatoes in your... <sighs> that won't work. It's a good thumbnail picture, isn't it? <laughs> I'll think about that. So if you're not just gonna put a potato in your server, how do you do it? Well, I've been experimenting with this in the kitchen. So let's go into the kitchen and see what I've been up to. So what have I been up to? I have the CPU here, it's just a test one. And I, of course, tried just to take a potato and make like a potato compound to put on the CPU and then put the heat sink on top of that. And well, it does actually work a little bit, but I don't think it's doing much. I think there is too much other than the starch in here and probably this will not work as well when it dries up. It's very important when you do this that you don't overheat the processor right away. It has to well, it has to start slow, but this wasn't the best way. And what I found was that there is a lot of starch in potato chips as well. Here is a really cheap brand, and I found that these does not work very well. Um, <laughs> I like sour cream and onion, so I bought sour cream and onion. They don't work in the, but they taste great. So I tried these as well, didn't work. Yeah, and then I, I bought some original Pringles and th these seems to be the best thing I've found until now. And they dissolve really well um, into some kind of a mush, like uh, something that you can actually put on the CPU. I uh, uh, don't do it like this, but just to show you that it will actually, it, oh, I shouldn't have used this much. Rich. And you have to make it an equal layer. And you, no, you don't need that much either. 
you need just as much as if you were doing a normal CPU, if you were using the, the heatsink compound here. But instead you will just use the potato starch, starch here. Okay, this would actually work, this is not that bad. But get a, a good layer of it all the way around and then put it in your, your computer or your server and put the heatsink on top of that. Um, you need this to be the exact, the, a good, we don't want it too wet. If it's too wet, we will have water running down into the computer or PC. But I'll show you how I made this. I took some of my <laughs> Pringles chips here. And really what we want, these are salted. And salt is not very good for, well, it, it doesn't matter for the heat process at all, but the salt will break down the CPU cooler because that's usually aluminium. If you're using some kind of a water cooling system without aluminium, this might be okay without the salt, but well, do, the, do this process anyway because it's much easier. So I took some Pringles and I put them in a cup and I just crunched them like this. Get them in as, as fine a powder as time permits. Oh, I'm outside of framing, right? Something like this. I'm just showing you. And then I take these. Oh, I'll just do it a little more. And um, okay, this, this is fine for the show. And let's take these over here. I have a coffee machine right here. As you might be able to. Oh, this is a weird angle to see the coffee machine. That's better. Um, so I take the the crushed up chips and I put it in the coffee machine like that. And I, oh, I forgot to change the water. This is kind of the salt. It's not an exact science how much water you put in, but uh, and the coffee machine is on, so I just put that in. Yeah, and the hot water will run through the chips and it will dissolve it and take out the salt and the salt will go with the water down here so that's fantastic I have a um, well this is actually the sour cream and onion chips they one of the first tries and they didn't dissolve very well so I think there is something else in these well the green stuff is probably not good for this project so that wasn't very well but the Pringles, that worked really fine. <laughs> now the coffee machine is running over here. So they will dissolve very nicely. And I have them. This is how it, it looks after it has run in the coffee machine. I put it over in the cup to kind of have it outside of the coffee filler itself. That's uh, that project workable form. It would be really cool if I could get it into a syringe like this that would that will work for me i guess i'm not sure if it has if it lasts as long as this but further testing is needed here we are in the data center again i took out as one of the cn cpus i'm gonna make a little test this one has the normal compound that is supplied with an ibm lenovo and this one i've cleaned off and i've also cleaned off the the heat sink here took out the the old compound and I just, I just took a piece of potato just to show you this. This, this would actually work pretty well. Just putting a slice of potato, but yeah, it, the effect is not as good. Somewhere along the way in all this filming, I have lost a little thing that I scraped this out with. So I'm gonna do it exactly the same way as I did in the kitchen. So I'm gonna have some of this potato stitch. I can't say that put it on in a very small layer like that that's way too much it's more or less the same process as putting on the other stuff this is just active active biological heat transfer that's a great thing why something yeah, that's probably okay. And we're gonna put oh, put the processor back in. 
uh, have to put it in the right way otherwise like that and close that one like that and we'll put back the heat sink and we have to put that down evenly I could get it to fit there we are there we are and put the cover and stuff back on I found a compound much like this on eBay I'll put the link in the description also the little scraper to put this evenly on the CPU I'll put that link in the description as well so check uh, down here in the description. Now the system is booting and it has to heat up slowly. So I'm not gonna stress this server too much. I'm gonna let it sit for a couple of hours. So. Um, I have some test results and uh, this will be very boring for video so I've uh, left a link down here for you where you can go check out the test results if you're into this and I'm probably also going to leave a link to a video where I go in deeper in this so that if you're someone who really likes this stuff overclocking and getting the, all the good shit out of your CPUs um, you should go watch that video and yeah a link to, um, to all the accessories that is needed for doing this project. Organic heat transfer is really not that strange when you think of it. Just think of the trees over here, the big trees. Every day a tree like that transfer maybe a hundred liters of water up to the leaves so that they don't die. And there is not a pump in a tree. It's all organic fluid transfer inside the tree so that it doesn't die. So I'm just gonna be showing you really quick here at the screen. Um, this is the management module for this server where the CPU has been changed. And uh, a couple of hours has passed and right now I am I'm stressing the server a little bit. I'm rendering some test footage so we can continue and we will see how that works. Oh, you can see because I'm in the way. Right here we had the ambient temperature of the server room, 28 degrees Celsius. The first CPU with the normal is 52 degrees Celsius. And the one with the, the potato starch is really making a difference here. 14 degrees Celsius and 25 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's pretty impressive, right? So that's how I use potato starch. Actually, it's more like this from the <laughs> known brand but um, it's more or less it's potato starch uh, in another packaging and uh, the good thing about that packaging is it's also eatable this video has become too long already so um, I did a follow-up video on all the measurements and the actual test be sure to check that out down here in this description there is also a link to where you can get the small thingy to put the starch on the CPUs go check that out Thank you very much for watching my videos, do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. Join me over at Google Plus where I occasionally post pictures of what I'm up to and have a really nice day. Bye bye!